everyone, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. So this is the last week of December 2018, and I hope everyone had a very Merry Christmas, and we're getting ready to go into the new year. So I told you last week that I had um, put away all of my embellishments, but I kept the pattern paper out, and I don't remember everything that I had in the kit, but I do remember all the butterflies. So I'll show you here in just a bit what I do for the butterflies. I decided to go ahead and make a grid pattern because I do like to use up as much paper as I can. Um, sometimes I end up just throwing away the itty bitty uh, scraps. Now, I want to tell you that um, I was having some serious problems with my trimmer. I wasn't sure what was wrong. It's something to do with the blade. And I cut it out, but I actually ended up cutting my finger. Yeah, those blades are really sharp. But thank goodness, um, I just had my tetanus shot the week before because my friend's kitty cat bit me. And I had to get a tetanus shot. So uh, it all worked out. So if you ever do get cut by uh, your trimmer, anything metal like this, please have your tetanus shot uh, Either you need to make sure you have it up to date or you need to go get one. They're good for 10 years. So this is Nurse Tracy giving you a little bit of advice. Yeah, I just really struggled with this uh, this trimmer. Actually, it's the blade. The blade actually came apart, which I don't know. But ever since I cut myself and it, and it came apart um, and I actually just kind of snapped it back together, it started acting right again. So I don't know what the problem was. All right, so the only things that I had left out besides the pattern paper is I had the tags out. So that I knew what was left over from the kit. So I pulled out two of the tags that, that were in the kit for December. And I wanted to make sure I use that arrow. And this photo is of my daughter Jules or Juliana. She, um, she has her own YouTube video and I'm pretty sure she was using this photo in one of her promos for her YouTube channel, but I thought it was appropriate, uh, you know, for what I end up making this, um, the title. I love the photo and it took me forever to figure out how to title this. I, and I'm not saying that every page that you make needs a title, but it just seemed like it needed one. It needed one really bad. So I had to actually take some time away and kind of think about it. And then it just all fell into place. Now, as you see the butterflies that are over in the bottom right hand corner, you'll be able to see them on a close up. I made those about a year ago. And they were when I was playing with the um, I got some paints from Dilusions and I was using the, the paints and then I was using some leftover alpha stickers and I cut them out of the butterfly die cuts. It was kind of a bunch of mixed media stuff that I was just playing with. Probably don't have a video on it because I was just playing around, but I put them in my butterfly a little container and you can see that over on the left side it's kind of a green bluish green color and it says butterflies and birds on it and you can't see that but that's what it says and so inside there is all the butterflies that I have and that's where I pulled all of these out um, but because of that bright pink color I needed a different color washi tape I needed that pink to kind of um, because the pink that was on that tag didn't match what I wanted. So I pulled out, surprisingly, some washi tape. Um, this has been the year of washi tape for me, that's for sure. At least the last few months has, has been. So I, I haven't bought any washi tape. Well, I may have bought a couple um, in the last couple of months, but I usually get them at Tuesday morning. But all right, trying to get the grid all together. I'm not too worried about the exactness of it. I want it, you know, approximate. And I don't have a lot of height on this page. I think the only thing that I put up on foam tapes is this little butterfly that I put on this grid paper. 
Now the foam tape, um, I did find some on Amazon. It's I found some for like eight dollars for thirty six yards. You should really go look it up. It's really a good price. Don't know how long it's going to stay at that price, but just look up foam tape. I think it's three quarter of an inch wide. It's 36 yards. That's the main thing. It's 36 yards. It's an incredible deal. I think it was like $8. For the, the liquid glue that I have in my little bottle there, that is uh, Scotch Tacky Glue. And some of these butterflies I got, oh, I don't know. They probably came in some ephemera kit, but some of them I had die cut. And some of them were from, you know, a cut file. So, so I'm finally able to use this big metallic uh, butterfly. I am so happy and it's so appropriate. And I'm still thinking of what I'm going to title this page, especially looking at her face and Oh my goodness, I had to totally think on it all day. And then I thought, you know what? What was she going through about the time that this photo was taken? And it was as she was trying to decide about uh, her future. Um, she had signed up to go to aesthetic school um, in, while she was in Michigan, because I know this photo was taken while she was up there. And I thought, you know what? It looks like she's a little scared or a little anxious or something. And I wanted something to do with fear. Um, but it. so I said, don't fear the future. And she has uh, she has now since graduated from um, the school and she's getting ready to take her test, you know, to get her license up there. So I'm real happy for her. Things are coming together. So this daughter, she's 26. Um, you know, she was one of those that she didn't want to go to college or she didn't think she did. But don't force your kids into doing something that they don't want to do is my parental advice, that they'll find their own way. But the more you push, the more they'll resist. So I just let her, you know, do her thing and let her learn the hard way. So unfortunately, as a mom, you know, it's hard to to watch that, but I am very happy for her because I know that she's doing something she absolutely loves. All right. One more piece of that washi tape. And that way I've got it in three different places. I'm going to put a little bit of journaling on that tag that's on the, the right side going to draw my lines here. I know exactly what I'm going to say. So I want the, the lines to be, you know, about the, the right length. So it says, no matter what you do, I'll support you. So, and that's the truth. All right, there's going to be some sequins and some splatters as well. Now I do, um, I pull out these uh, black hearts. I did pull those from my, um, I had put those away, but I remember that I had those and I need them. So I believe those are from Bella Boulevard. Yeah, I'm almost out of those. What am I going to do? I love these huge, clear uh, sequins. Those are from All American from Spiegel Mom Scraps. I don't know if they're still available. There's also these kind of a pinky red color uh, sequin as well. They're not quite as big as the big clear ones. I do use the Distress Collage Medium. And then this is Night Moves. It's a shimmers products that I use for my sprinkles. I do cover up my photo. Um, and you'll see as I take it away, you'll be able to see. All right, the still shots are coming up. I want to say thanks for coming. Make sure you check out the other ladies that are part of the Mini Kit Monday. I have their information in my description box below. You guys have a great day and Happy New Year. Bye.